there, how you doing? This is Leo and uh, from Leo's Workshop and we're going to be working on another little project today, a little woodworking CNC project and um, well it's not going to be just today, it's going to be over the next few days anyway and uh, it's a hummingbird plaque. I showed a, a shot of the hummingbird plaque as uh, an entrance to the video and um, I'll also be talking about this plaque on an, two different forums, woodworking CNC forums that I frequent. And uh, if you'd like to join in the conversation, you're certainly welcome to log into the forums. And I'll have that listed at the end of the video, um, a couple of addresses that you can go to. Just look up for me, Leo Voicine, and uh, you'll be able to find the uh, discussion forums. Forums are nice because they're interactive and you can get questions and answers whereas in a video such as this um, you only get me talking to you and you don't get a chance to ask a question and you know possibly it might be a year or two after you ask the question that you'll get the answer. But anyway, um, let's continue on. I know that you don't like to watch me stand here just talking to you so um, couple of samples that I have on the wall in the background, things that I do. Um, but today is going to be the hummingbird plaque. So uh, let me show you around a little bit. I started this project as um, just some some rough sawn wood and um, I had to, to cut it so I could make it a little bit wider. But it's, um, it's rough sawn wood and I didn't bother to plane it or joint it or anything. Well I did joint it. I jointed the the edges on my jointer just to make them uh, decent glue surfaces and they're cut to a uh, rough length and when it's glued up the width will be just a rough width uh, big enough for the whole um, hummingbird plaque to uh, to find its way into the middle and then uh, what I'll do is I'll set it up on the CNC machine to do just about all of the cutting very little cutting being done in traditional workshop or woodworking methods. Um, but this is my shop. It's a CNC woodworking shop. I do have all of the traditional table saw, chop saw, sanders, and you know, I use a variety of different tools. And uh, I'm going to make three plaques. One of them is going to a friend of mine in uh, California as a, as, a, as a thank you gift and this one here is um, going to be for me to keep hang on my wall and this is going to be one for uh, for sale um, eventually. Well like I said uh, this is a woodworking project but it's a CNC work, woodworking project. It's a little bit non-traditional uh, which is about where I am is uh, being non-traditional with woodworking but I also do traditional hand cut dovetails and machine cut dovetails and box joints and you know all of the uh, mortise and tenon and all of the traditional stuff and uh, as well uh, but in this case here um, I just like the, uh, the CNC style of doing things but still gonna glue up and um, I, I know that there's a lot of talk about whether or not you need to uh, flatten out the glue surface um, and this is my choice um, some people say you don't really have to do it but um, in my shop I do it so I spread out the glue so I have a nice even uh, glue surface on the on the two joints and um, some people would tell you well you don't need to do two joints uh, two surfaces you can do just one. Um, one thing I'll say too is um, with um, glue on on wood uh, we don't need dowels uh, with a joint like this where it's what they call the edge grain to edge grain. Um, you don't need dowels or splines or anything like that. When you glue these together the joint is so strong that um, this joint will not come apart, um, it, it just can't come apart. You'll tear the wood apart trying to take it apart. 
So um, I give a pretty good, pretty good glue joint together. Like I said, this is just rough sawn wood, and the only thing I care about here is just getting these uh, joints fairly well together. Um, anything other than that, it doesn't really matter to me. I like to put a clamp on bottom and on the top. Uh, to me, it just helps to give an even clamping pressure and um, <clears throat> clamp them fairly tight. You don't have to clamp them as tight as you can. Um, I just check to make sure that they're even together and just evenly clamp the three clamps. I'm not tightening them as tight as I can. They're pretty snug. Not uh, not a wimpy clamp. It's good and good and tight, but not as tight as I can possibly put it. So okay. So until next time, talk to you later.